Hey, Tactical Painter back out of the Suits Crafting Wood Shop. Welcome back out to the shop. So this week on Shop Talk Tuesday, we're going to talk about keeping your wood clean. One of my YouTube subscribers today asked me about isopropyl alcohol versus denatured alcohol and what the benefits and differences were. So I figured I'd come out here and talk to you guys today uh, about the differences between isopropyl, denatured alcohol, and acetone. Now you saw that I carry all three of those in my shop. They each have a different intended purpose and they can kind of cross back and forth. Some of them are great at one things and not as great at others. So I figured I'd come out and do a demonstration on the differences, pros and cons for each one and just kind of thin the air out, if you will. It's funny because it's a thinner. So first and foremost, the one that I always have to talk to people about, isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol is a wonderful all-purpose alcohol it does a lot of different things for me out in the resin casting shop anytime that I spill any resin on my countertop surfaces a little bit of isopropyl alcohol blue shop towel it wipes right off um, scrub a little bit and it's as good as new the resin comes right off with it um, it's great for casting if you're using a resin that is not sensitive to water the reason I say that is because if you look right here you can see that it says 70% isopropyl alcohol. So what that means is that it's got 70% isopropyl alcohol and the other 30% is water. So if you have any of this um, that hasn't evaporated off, then you're gonna have water on your surface and that water is gonna interact with whatever you pour on that surface. Now if you're pouring resin that is sensitive to water like alumilite is, uh, Lumalite clear and clear slow, uh, those are sensitive to water and it will absolutely leave a white layer uh, between your wood and your resin and you do not want that at all. It's not a good thing. It detracts from the overall look of it and it can actually ruin your project. And I've, I've had it do that to me and so you got to watch it with isopropyl alcohol. Um, but it does clean up things well if you're using it with like an epoxy resin instead of a urethane resin like uh, Alumalite Clear and Clear Slow R, then it'll work absolutely fine for you. Um, you just got to be sure to let it evaporate as much water off as you can so you can lessen that interaction. Uh, but it works great. Um, you can actually like put this in a bottle, spray things down with it, wipe it off, and it's uh, perfectly safe to use. Uh, this actually I get out of the first aid section at my local store and it it's wonderful i get them in the big bottles like this because i use it quite a bit out in my resin casting shop you know cleaning up surfaces cleaning cactus juice out of containers if i'm doing die castings i'll actually take isopropyl or denatured alcohol and leave it in the bottom of my container um, because i find that sometimes the dyes will um kind of dye the bottom of a little bit and kind of stick to it and so i want to make sure to get as much of that dye off of there as i can so that the next color that I get won't mix with the color that I had previously. Or if I'm trying to do a clear stabilization, it won't pick up any of that leftover color. So isopropyl alcohol, it's a multi-purpose alcohol. Use it for a multitude of applications. And uh, it's a really nice one. But we're going to talk about denatured alcohol next and why it works better for wood turning. Denatured alcohol is a wonderful substance. It's a fuel um, you can actually use it to burn and cook with and stuff and it is great. It's uh, This one is by Clean Strip Green. It's a uh, clean burning fuel and it has no water content. That's the nice thing about it. It's got no water content. You're not going to have any water left over uh, the saturated into the wood. It evaporates really rapidly and it takes dust and stuff with it. When you wipe things down with this, it's going to pick up dust, cling to it, and it evaporates right off into your rag as you wipe it down. And isopropyl alcohol will clean some, but it doesn't evaporate rapidly enough to always pick up all dust like out of pores and small crevices and things, whereas denatured alcohol will. It's a wonderful substance. Um, you do have to deal with a little bit of a smell. I mean, isopropyl is that way too. Um, with the water in it, it's not as strong, but with the denatured alcohol, it is a clear alcohol smell. Uh, that you are working with, but it's not harmful. And uh, this one has 95% uh, natural and renewable content, so that's why it's nice and green. Um, it's a wonderful substance. I use it all the time. Whenever I have to clean off a blank before doing a CA finish 
or clean off a blank before casting it. Um, I always hit it with just a blue shop towel with a spritz of denatured alcohol on it. Wipes every all the dust and everything right off of it. Um, you will you should take an air compressor, blow off as much loose dust as you can, and then hit it with the denatured alcohol, and the rest of it just wipes right off. It's a wonderful uh, substance. Because of the zero water content, it also won't raise the grain and to where you have to sand all over again to get that grain back down. Um, and it's my preferred method for cleaning things off. So last but not least before I get into the demonstration portion is acetone. Acetone is a very strong solvent. It is great at removing ink and paint and different things. Um, it works really well for cleaning off wood. Um, as well, but the reason why I don't use it for cleaning off wood that I'm going to be casting or putting a CA finish on is that it is a chemical. It's not just an alcohol. There are other chemicals in it, and the chemicals that are in it will leave a residue or film behind that you do have to contend with. Um, so you use acetone, you just end up having to clean it off with denatured alcohol anyway to get that film off of there, but it works extremely well. Let me read you something real quick. So you have to watch it with some of the resins and things that you use um, because it says this is a strong fast acting solvent is a thinner and remover for specified coatings including polyester and epoxy resins, ink, adhesives and contact cement. Acetone is an effective cleanup solvent after the completion of a fiberglass project for removal of excess fiberglass resin or foreign material and here's the key part from solvent tolerant surfaces. Now, it says solvent tolerant services because this is a solvent, as are the other ones that I showed you. Um, it's a strong solvent, and it actually will melt plastics back down into a liquid. Um, so you have to be careful. So it's got to be a tolerant solvent resin because if it's not tolerant solvent, then it actually will make your resin or plastics turn soft again. Um, years, about probably a year ago or so, um, the King of Random actually did a video where they melted an entire Lego Millennium Falcon with an a with a bath of acetone. So you got to watch out the types of resins and plastics you you use with this stuff because it will turn it soft or completely degrade it down entirely. So I'm going to bring you down now. I've got a little table set up here with some blocks of wood that I'm going to do a little demonstration with. So hold on one second, and I will uh, be back in in well about like this. For our first demonstration, we're going to take a look at the um, absorption and then the evaporation rate of the three different chemicals. I've got isopropyl alcohol, I've got the denatured alcohol, and then I've got the acetone. So I'm just going to saturate each of these, wipe them down with a blue shop towel, and I've got my watch over here so you can see how much time has elapsed because I'm going to speed it up because like the isopropyl alcohol especially will take a little bit because of the water content. So I'll just demonstrate that here and you guys can watch it in fast time, real time. So we're about five minutes in, you can see that the acetone is completely dry minus a couple of these spots where it's soaked up a little bit more in the um, in the burl eyes and stuff there. The denatured alcohol almost completely dry, just this section right here that's still wet. And then the isopropyl alcohol is only dry just at the very edge right here where my fingernail is at. It's still wet. You can see it's just barely dry right at the far edges. So. Isopropyl alcohol takes the longest to dry out because of the water content. Denatured alcohol comes in second. Acetone comes in third. But the only thing about the acetone is that it does leave that little bit of film that you have to contend with. Now the third thing I want to demonstrate is the ability to remove paint and inks. Now acetone is the strongest in this and I'll just demonstrate that here. So I'll hit it with this pencil is what I use 
to hold on to brass tubes when I'm painting them black for my cosmic cloud blanks. And so this is just black um, enamel paint. So I will just try and hit this surface with isopropyl alcohol. And as you can see, nothing's really happening to it. It's not removing the paint. It's not really doing much of anything except just giving it that wet, shiny appearance. You can look at my cloth here, just the littlest of a black mark on there. Now denatured alcohol will clean up inks pretty well. I've used it quite a few times on ink pens that customers have brought me where the ink cartridge that they bought failed. And so I've used it to dissolve inks, but it does not work so well on paint. I mean, it does remove it, but you do have to scrub at it quite a bit. So you can see there, starting to get a black smudge on the paper, but it's not really taking it off. Sit right, right there at the edges where it's the thinnest. You can see it's starting to remove it, starting to dissolve it away, but you're gonna have to work at it for a bit. Now the acetone, however, is the strongest of the three. We'll go to a fresh section of our pencil here and we'll show you that this will come off pretty rapidly. You can see it's already cleaned off the black on there. It's even starting to take off some of the yellow of the pencil. See that? Taking it right off. So acetone is your best bet if you're having to remove paint, um, which I often do as I'm painting these uh, pens and pencils and things. When I paint the tubes, if I have anything I need to clean up, that's what I keep the acetone out here for, is to take the paint off of areas where I do not want it. And there you have it. In summary, I mean, as I said, all three of the solvents are actually really good. Isopropyl alcohol is a good, cheap cleaner for cleaning up resins and uh, you know just cleaning small things off that don't need to be cast or have a finish applied immediately afterward because it's gonna take a, a while to dry. Denatured alcohol is your best way to go when casting because it dries quickly. If you just do a real light swipe with a patch soaked in denatured alcohol, it will dry almost immediately. Um, it's your best bet. It doesn't leave a film and it is great for pouring on the woods and getting that wet uh, finished look without actually having to apply a finish if you just need to photograph something real quick. And acetone is great for if you need to remove any inks or paints or anything that you got something on that you really need to get off and you need to get it off now. So acetone is good for that but you got to watch out when you're dealing with it around your plastics and your resins and things because it might very well melt them down too. As you saw, it took the paint right off that pencil, um, including the yellow paint of the pencil. It took it all the way down to the wood. So it's a very strong uh, solvent. It will dissolve a lot of different things. So you gotta be careful with it. And I only use it for very specific applications. So thanks so much for joining me out in the shop this week. I hope that was informative. You know, like I said, um, Joe had that question and I hope that answers some of your questions on which solvents to buy. All three are a great product um, you, and they are good in their own applications. So thanks so much for joining me out here in the shop. This is Tactical Painter out in Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Throw a subscribe button here in the middle. Check out some of my other videos on the sides. Thanks again and happy turning.